the next question we have is PQRS is a parallelogram where QM is the height from Q to SR and QN is the height from Q to PS. If SR is given as 12 and QM is given as 7.6, we have to find out the area of parallelogram PQRS and QN if PS is equal to 8. So first of all, let us draw the figure for this one. The figure is going to be a parallelogram only. So we will draw a parallelogram at first that will be like this PQRS and I have made the parallelogram let us name it PQR and S. We have the QM as height from Q to SR. Q to SR we are going to draw a height that will be equal to like this. that is the perpendicular if you extend SR and you will check that QM is going to be the height for SR next we have QN as the height from Q to PS so again we are going to draw a perpendicular from point Q to PS that is this one and this is known as QN and that was point M now we have to given we have been given the measurements of SR which is 12 SR is given as 12 centimeters QM is given as 7.6 centimeters we have to find out the area in the first part so we know area of parallelogram I am writing this in short form this represents parallelogram PQRS equal to base into height and what is the base if you take SR as the base the height for SR is going to be QM only as I discussed with you height is not bothering that is it is going out of the shape or not because the point Q is going to be at the same distance from SR all over right so we can represent QM as the height therefore we are going to get the area as 12 into 7.6 that's will go that's going to give us some value and we will do it over here 76 into 12 2 6 are 12 1 2 7 are 14 and 15 6 and 7 2 11 1 7 8 9 we got 9 1.2 centimeter square as the area for this parallelogram now the next step is finding the next that is qn we have to find out the measurement of QN if PS is given to us. Now the measurement of PS has been given to us which is 8 centimeters. So we will write over here that the area of parallelogram PQRS can also be written for the base as PS and height as QN. Right? Now you can write this as base into height only where base has changed to PS and the respective height would be QN. So you will get the area that has been calculated as 91.2. PS has been given us as 8 centimeters and we have to find out QN. So the QN is going to be equal to 912, 91.2 over 8. On solving this, you will get, let us divide it. 91.8 with 8 we will get 8 7s as 56 8 9s as 72 we can do it from the one digit only so 8 1s as 8 11 now you get 8 1s as 8 again you are left with 2 and 1 3 then you add a next digit and add a decimal over here 8 4s as 32 8 4s as 32 8 5s will become 40 that will be greater than this so it will continue like this here we get 6 and so on 8 7s as 56 and you get 8 5s as 40 so that means here the value of qn is going to be 11.475 centimeters this is the height for the respective base p S. Similarly, you have the next question now that is question number 5. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इज सेइंग यू हैव अ ट्रायंगल ए बी सी राइट एंगल्ड एट ए मींस दिस एंगल इज गिवन टू अस एज 90 डिग्रीज ए डी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू बी सी वी हैव ए डी परपेंडिकुलर मेड टू बी सी यू हैव ए बी गिवन एज फाइव बी सी गिवन एज थर्टीन एंड ए सी गिवन एज ट्वेल्व वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ ए बी सी सो बिकॉज ए बी सी इज अ triangle so we can write area of triangle abc as 1 by 2 into base into height now what is going to be the base i am because it is a right angle triangle i am going to take ab as the base if ab is taken as the base from the opposite vertex the perpendicular drawn is represented with ac so i can write here that the base ab is having height ac so now we'll put the values AB is five and AC is twelve, so we get twelve fives as sixty over two, giving us thirty centimeters square. Now this was the area to be found in the first step. Also, we are going to find out the length of AD. Now, what is the length of AD representing over here? It is representing the height for respective base BC of this triangle. So we can do the same. We can write in the next step. that area of triangle abc is equal to half base into height where the base has changed to bc and the height has changed to ad giving us all equal to 30 because this we already we have find out that area of triangle abc is 30 cm square so we place that value over the area and we get 1 by 2 into bc is also given to us as 13 and we'll find out the ad so we get ad equal to 2 into 30 whole upon 13 now you get 60 upon 13 cm as ad you can convert it into decimals or you can leave it as it is this will be your answer